captain's mare. I need you to get up to Cricket's Fort. Yet another set of remains have been unearthed. We need to honor that soldier by giving him a proper burial at the battlefield center.
local blacksmith shop, where blacksmiths would make horseshoes, various tools, and perform routine repairs by hand. Blacksmiths had a general knowledge of how to make and repair many things, from the most complex of weapons and armor to symbolizing. archaeological preservation team. I have a real problem here. While building new outhouses, we discovered the remains of a Civil War Union soldier. Although the body is highly irradiated and strangely fresh, it's almost like it died 20 years ago instead of 200. Now I need you to properly inter the body in the Philippi Cemetery. And it needs to be done before our next reenactment. Smith shop, where blacksmiths would make horseshoes, various tools, and perform routine repairs by hand. Blacksmiths had a general knowledge of how to make and repair many things, from the most complex of weapons and armor to simple items. Please proceed to the fort to continue the tour. supposed to be a rebuilt frontier fort, but the railroad went through the place where it really used to be, so they had to put it here. It, and then they found out the guy who wrote the book that described the fort made most of it up. That's crazy, right? 
So it, it doesn't even look like the real one. We call it a representational frontier fort. Now they want to start running Civil War battle reenactments here. But that never happened either. <laughs> but they say it'll bring in lots of money. Some people just don't appreciate real history. Cricket's fort was surrounded by a tall wall with lookout towers for monitoring the area around the fort. Colonists stood watch around the clock and would alert the settlement if the British were approaching. Inside the fort, we'll see what everyday life was like for the colonists. But first, let me tell you about Nuka-Cola. What gives it a unique flavor is the essence of 17 different fruits mixed in just the right proportions to give Nuka-Cola its trademark taste. <laughs> Boy, Nuka-Cola's refreshing taste really hits the spot, huh? Now, let's continue on with the tour. Stand by. Attention, citizens. Nuclear strike imminent. Please exit the area at your earliest convenience. Thank you for your cooperation. on the catwalks.
gift shop located northeast of the fort to grab a souvenir and an ice cold nuka for yourself. this historic landmark mock-up of Prickett's Fort. I say mock-up because the real fort was destroyed centuries ago. It was lovingly recreated based on a series of documents and educated guesses. Isn't science great? Anyway, don't forget to take home a piece of American history from the gift shop. Oh, and make sure to grab a nuka for the road. I hope everyone had a swell experience. This is Dick Shale, signing off. Majestic Brickett's Fort. So very, very 100% historical. <laughs> <laughs>